What's good YouTube, your boy SO, 8787 Productions. Today I just want to do a quick video showing you guys how I get my widescreen bars inside of Final Cut Pro X. Very simple, very quick. There's a free plugin that you could download. Go to your internet browser, type in It's the first thing that pops up. Click on it. Uh, make sure you read it because it's going to explain how to use the plugin for your widescreen bars. Uh, just scroll down and come to this point right here. Click on it. You're going to download it, open it up. So I have it on my desktop already. So you're going to open up your finder window and go into your movie folder. And then after that, you're going to go into motion templates and then you're going to go into titles and then you just drag and drop it over here. And that's it. Make sure Final Cut Pro is closed while you're doing this. After that, you're going to open up Final Cut Pro, open up your session, open up your title browser, look for Alex 4D, grab the plugin and make sure you drag it above everything on your timeline. This has to be on top. After that, you're just gonna stretch it out to the entirety of your video. You could come over here, it might be on video, so switch over the title. And at default, it's gonna be on this option right here. I think this is true widescreen, if I'm not mistaken. So I usually keep it right here. Sometimes I might make them a little closer depending on the video and how I feel. So you might notice that sometimes it cuts off a piece of your clip. So what you're gonna do is select your clips after you're done editing go through it and just go down to transform and just either bring them down sometimes you might want to bring it up because it's cutting off the bottom or you might want to bring it down because it's cutting off the top so get it to a place where you like it or like right there and that simple so yeah if you found this video helpful please like subscribe comment feel free to ask any questions thank you for your time